The Painting the Potato Eaters by Vincent Van Gogh was one of Van Gogh's most popular works as it was one of his first paintings made with intent to portray human figures in their most naturally existing state. The painting shows a group of five individuals sitting around a table in a darkly lit room, light solely coming from an oil lamp. They are eating a meal of potatoes with differing intense demeanors shown on their faces. The point of portraying the peasants in this way and in this situation is to show them at their most primitive and purest form, embodying the traditional values of rural life. This was the culture of peasant life that it was a harsh reality these peasants acknowledged, especially evident in the painting's dark ambiance with the, with the coarse faces, stern expressions, and bony hands of the peasants. Seeing these raw features, in no way refined to look more polished or happier, generates the idea that peasants live their days toiling the land to come back to share in a meal or they reach for potatoes with the same hands they use to work the earth. Viewers understand that the physical condition of the peasants deems them as respectable individuals in society who deserve their honestly earned meal. It also emphasizes that their culture was shaped both by being in harmony with their environment and each other, as their day-to-day -day lives consisted of activities like manipulating the earth and farming to come back to a simple meal derived from the land, potatoes that are shared amongst one another. Nuna, a village in the south of the Netherlands, was the ideal setting for a peasant painter. And that's exactly what Vincent wanted to be. He lived in Nuna with his parents. The village was home to many farmers, rural laborers and weavers, who Vincent sketched and painted whenever he could. These four images, some of which were shown in the last video, are important in understanding how Van Gogh developed the potato eaters. These images showcase a range of how peasants authentically lived during the time Van Gogh focused on being a peasant painter during the 1880s. He specifically moved to Noonan in 1883 and painted these scenes showcasing farmers, weavers, and workers. The top left image showcases a typical rundown cottage where farm workers lived. Interestingly, this cottage was specifically where the family depicted in the potato eaters, the de Groot family lived, and that Van Gogh worked in. These images all offer evidence towards how the potato eaters can specifically be interpretive as they involve naturally occurring dark toned scenes of rural peasant life, suggestive of how the culture of peasants was tied to direct interaction with the world and taking on the burden of several labor efforts. Upon settling in Noonan, Van Gogh wanted to create a portrait of the working class, and a certain message he wrote to his brother stands out in showing why he was so interested in pursuing this group of people. He states, You see, I really have wanted to make it so people get the idea that these folk, who are eating their potatoes by the light of their little lamp, have tilled the earth themselves with these hands they are putting in the dish, and so it speaks of manual labor and that they have thus honestly earned their food. I wanted it to give the idea of a wholly different way of life from ours, civilized people. So I certainly don't want everyone just to admire it or approve of it without knowing why. The next video shows Katie Hansen, Associate Curator of Paintings at the Museum of Fine Arts Boston, go into depth analyzing the potato eaters and Van Gogh's intentions. She states that this is a picture about manual labor. The coarse, rough life that peasants have is depicted clearly in this painting. Um, the next picture that, um, that Vincent van Gogh made was the potato eaters. He saw this as a showpiece. Um, he deliberately chose a composition that would be difficult for him to prove he was on his way to becoming a great painter. He, w he wrote about this particular painting um, more than any other painting that he made. He wanted to, it's um, two feet by four feet, which was really large for him um, at, that time. at that time. It took him a month to make. He made numerous preparatory studies and drawings. It cost him a lot of effort and a lot of thinking. And he wanted to express something here and his idea was that he would express that the people have tilled the earth themselves with the hands they're putting in the dish and that they've earned 
their food. So it's a guy who's thinking about how he earns his own food at the moment through his toil, through his hard work. Um, um, and he, he talks about the flaws in his painting, but he doesn't see the flaws as a problem. He sees them as, um, as actually a, a positive. And so he writes to Theo, I should be desperate if my figures were correct. I do not want them to be academically correct. My great longing is to learn to make incorrectnesses, changes in reality, so that they may become, yes, lies if you like, but truer, truer than the literal truth. So he's looking for, um, he's looking to make the people look like they are what they eat. They, they, sh they should look potato-y, they should look lumpy, right? This is his, it's truer than the literal truth. Uh, so this is a picture about manual labor, not just his manual labor, which was a lot, um, but also the labor of the people um, who he's depicting. And, he's, and he sees that as the artist's job to draw out the essence of a situation. So coarseness here is part of the subject. It would be wrong to make these people look all you know, pretty and clean because they don't have a pretty clean life. They have a coarse, rife, uh, coarse rough life. Um, and he emphasized that harshness by exaggerating it. And then by putting them in this sort of cramped, gloomy space, um, it's right, it's right, he's trying to speak, he's trying to speak to his viewers, um, give that, that emotional sense um, of, of how this works. He's We can draw upon Katie's analysis and come to a conclusion that Van Gogh's The Potato Eaters was a work of art that presented peasants in their most natural and realistic state, as individuals who built their culture upon the flow of working and gathering for meals, pretty simplistic lives, but required a lot of willpower from these peasants. The peasantry were a part of the population that, regardless of their unhappiness with their lives, they were seen by many like Van Gogh as noble human beings whose lives were marked by the importance to remain authentic. As they were already aware of, their, of the social and economical disadvantages they were at, they lived in cooperation and unity with other peasants, prioritizing their ability to gather and feast from the earth that they were so commonly immersed in every day. The peasantry were a part of the population that, regardless of their unhappiness with their lives, they were seen by many like Van Gogh as noble human beings whose lives were marked by the importance to remain authentic. As they were already aware of, their, of the social and economical disadvantages they were at, they lived in cooperation and unity with other peasants, prioritizing their ability to gather and feast from the earth that they were so commonly immersed in every day.